Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Welcome if you are new here. My name is Margie. I like to post shopping hauls, grocery hauls, eating videos, vlogs, and everything in between. So if any of that stuff interests you, please make sure to subscribe down below. We're almost at 600 and I'm really excited to reach that milestone. <laughs> couldn't think of what the word was um but yeah so in today's video if you watched my previous Duncan video from probably yesterday is when I posted it I did mention how I'm going to Aldi so that's why I'm wearing the same outfit because I literally filmed the Duncan video in the Aldi parking lot which I'm here right now if you guys can see the little Aldi sign somewhere up there um but yeah so I'm really excited they have some new like finds of the week because it is Wednesday which is when all their new stuff comes out and there's some really cute stuff that I'm excited to see or possibly get. We'll see. I don't want to spend too much money, but we'll see what happens. And also, if you are interested in that Duncan video where I'm trying the new items, I will link it up above here and then down below in the description box so you guys can check it out. And if you watch both of these videos, that's how I know you're a true fan, true subscriber. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we're just going to head into the store now. I'll try to film as much as I can in there. The parking lot is pretty full, so it's probably busy in there right now, but I will do my best and then I will give you guys a little shopping haul here in my car right after, so let's go.
going to be in the way. <laughs> So we are back in my car surprisingly as you can tell I was able to get a lot of footage in the store because it was like busy But not like super crazy. So I did my best I mostly showed you the new like Aldi finds of the week because I know that's probably what most of you are interested in not the stuff That's been there for years, but I spent I think it was $80 and some change I did get a lot of like non food items though So let's just get into it and I'm gonna show you everything I got so first, I want to start off with the bigger items. So I got this for my cat. Sorry, the lighting is a little crazy, but it's the Cat Scratching Playhouse. And this was on clearance. Um, I don't remember what the original price was, but I think it was like four something instead of like, I think it was like nine or something. Let me check my receipt actually. Maybe it'll say... Yes, so the Cat Playhouse was $4.49, and I'm not sure how much it was originally, but you guys can see it in the video in the store. You probably already saw it. I can't talk. But yeah, I spent $80.59. So I'm really excited. This is super cute, and it shows you everything on the back, like how to set it up, like the pieces and everything. So I'm definitely going to assemble this when I get home, and if I assemble it before I post this video, I'll insert a clip of maybe my cat exploring it. I think that'll be really cool, so... So I just finished assembling his little house. So here's what it looks like. My dog is like, what is this? <laughs> There's like a little side door here. And I put the little cat scratchers in and then I put the catnip in there because it came with catnip. I didn't even know it did. But, okay, you'll get your tour and hold on. Let me just show them. Okay, one second. And it made a huge mess because he had to like take out all these little tab things in there. But it's so cute. Um, I want to show you guys. I'm like spinning it with him in there. He's probably like, what the hell is going on? Yeah. But this part is so cute. It says cotton candy, apple cider, popcorn, snacks, and there's like a little door. Nori, chill. Oh my God. These animals are crazy. So yeah. I think he definitely likes it. He's probably scared because I keep moving it, but he's gonna keep going in for that catnip. Okay, so. Really cool. I like it. I think he likes it. <laughs> oh, you like it in there, bud? <laughs> this is my life. But yeah, so definitely worth like the $5. Say bye, guys. Say bye. <laughs> All right, bye, guys. Love this. I'm super excited, and I know he's going to love it, too. And then the next thing, this one's gonna be hard to show, but this was $6.99. And it's this cute doormat. Okay, you guys can see it. So it says, happy fall, y'all. I literally love this one. They had a lot of different ones. They had one that said like, hello, pumpkin. And like, I don't know what the other ones were. Something about like, 
There was like a welcome one, but this one is so cute and ugh, it's shedding a lot. <laughs> but as you guys know, if you don't know, oh my God, it's literally all over me. Um, hope it didn't get in my Duncan. <laughs> But I do still live at home, so I'm just buying this for when my boyfriend and I move out eventually, hopefully next year, after I graduate and get a real job. I'm really excited, also nervous, but you know how it is. So I bought that for my new house. And then this, same deal, not for my current house because I live at home, but it's this huge fall reversible wall sign. So, oh my God. So this is the side I like the most. It says apple orchard, pick your own. 25 cents per pound and then it has this um what's it called buffalo check like plaid design and then on the other side it says pumpkins apple cider hay rides leaves bonfires candy corn sweaters fuzzy socks cuddling and crisp air and then on the side here under the thing it says autumn i don't know it's really hard to show you guys <laughs> this thing's huge there you go you can see it so both the doormat and this huge sign oh my god hold on guys the struggle is real right now <sighs> so both the doormat and the wall sign were $6.99 each which is a really good price I believe they were on clearance as well um, I don't remember but you guys already saw the prices so let me know <laughs> um, and also that was the last fall sign so I got really lucky today all right, next, and by the way, I'm not gonna say prices for everything just because it's gonna take too long, but I will say some prices for certain things. Next, we got, these are an Aldi find of the week, the Mama Cozy's Pizza Kitchen. Cheddar biscuits, they're cheddar, chive, and garlic, finished with a buttery garlic spread. So, I'm assuming these are gonna taste, hello, lighting. <laughs> I'm assuming these are gonna taste like the Cheddar Bay Biscuits from Red Lobster, which I'm hoping they do because that'll be amazing. So these would be really good with like um, like a salad or like pasta, like any like a side dish for a meal, but I'm really excited to try these. And then we also got, this is a find of the week as well. I believe this was $5.99. You guys, this is so cute. So they had this one, the red one. Then they had a white one, a light pink, and like a blue bluish tealish color i showed you guys um in the store as well and so this is hot up to four hours and cold up to 12 and i'm really excited because it has like the little slidey thing so i'm definitely going to be using this at home in the mornings now instead of just like a regular mug because i, I drink my coffee really so like really slow but this will be great because it'll keep it nice and hot because after like an hour or so in a regular mug it's like not warm anymore you know but I thought this was really cute and I got the red one because I just like how it looks. I don't know. The white one was probably going to get dirty because I have a white Yeti and it got pretty dirty over time. So I just like this color and that's why I went with this one. Next we have, oh, this Boulder cleaning spray. It's just an all-purpose cleaner. Sorry guys, the sun is really shining this way now, which kind of sucks, but... Um, this was on clearance for $1.99 instead of like three something I think it was and I like this brand so it's good to just have another all-purpose cleaner you know gotta keep your shit clean <laughs> next this is actually a repurchase I've bought this before the Berman's tikka masala simmer sauce so when I made this when I used this I actually did the recipe that they recommend on the background which you just um, use one and a half pounds of sliced chicken breast and then green and red bell peppers and this So so good you guys like chef's kiss. It was amazing and This sauce is just really good like I really really liked it and I'm happy they still have it and I don't know if this was like The first time I got it. I don't think it was a new item. So maybe they just have this all the time I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know because I love this stuff also I literally have class in one hour. It's 2.30 right now and my class starts at 3.30 so I'm gonna have to finish this video and go home pretty quick. <laughs> okay, so next I did show you guys these in the video which I'm really excited even though they're not for me but they're for my dog. Limited edition oven baked dog biscuits and the flavor is caramel and apple flavor latte biscuits. Like you guys, hold on. Tell me these aren't freaking adorable. Can you even see anything though? This lighting is really killing me right now. There, you can kind of see. So I'm really excited for her to try these. We might repark, let's see, I don't know. And then these are a repurchase as well. 
Yeah, I'm gonna repark real quick because this lighting is just not doing it for me right now. So give me one second, you guys. All right, this lighting is way better. So as I was saying, these spinach and mozzarella raviolis, I have bought them before and I really like them. So I got them again and they're really cheap too. And when I make these, I just boil them on the stove and then I usually put some type of like pasta sauce on top, really good. Next, I just got this. I do not know how to pronounce this. I'm not even gonna try, but it's these little noodles, these pasta shells. Don't know how to pronounce that, but these were really cheap. They were like a dollar oh nine, I believe. And I love just making pasta with like pasta sauce with cheese, some garlic powder, some like parsley or something. So good. Or basil. And then I got my dog these little, um, what are they? heart to tail the prime rib and the filet mignon i get these for her pretty much every time i go to aldi they're really cheap i think they're 54 cents and she loves them and then uh, i got my cat these premium cat foods let me get them so you can see all the flavors so we have the ocean white fish and tuna the salmon entree and then the turkey and giblets entree so it's something he's probably really gonna love he loves wet food so i'm sure he's gonna go crazy for this stuff and these were even cheaper these were like 30 something cents which is a really good deal and they are made in the usa so and then next this item's pretty funny so i actually got this broccoli cheddar soup it's only a 10 ounce one um and if you guys know i worked at panera before and i actually love the, the soups there and this man is literally walking by my car right now and i feel awkward but yeah, so I got this broccoli cheddar soup, the 10 ounce one, and it was a pretty good deal. It was, I think, like $2.79 or something. And if you go to Panera and get an 8 ounce cup of soup, it's like literally like 5 or $6. So this is a way better deal. And I'm super excited because it's soup season, first of all. And I haven't had Panera soup in so long just because it's so expensive. Like, when I used to work there, I would eat soup all the time because you get a discount and stuff. Um, but it's just not worth the price for me, to be honest, to go there like often. So... This was a great find. They also had baked potato as well, but I don't like that one as much. And I wish they had mac and cheese, because that would be great. Next, this is also a repurchase, the Salsa Con Queso by Casa Mamita, the medium one. This stuff is great, it tastes, why is this can like dirty almost? Well, it's sealed, okay, that's weird though. Ew, it's like, there's like something on top of that. I don't know if you guys can even tell, but it's dirty. But anyway, so I love eating this stuff with like tortilla chips or whatever. Actually, I really like it with Funyuns too. I say Funyuns. I know, I think my boyfriend says Funyuns, but it's like fun, yun. I don't know. That's just how I've been saying it my whole life. But these are really good with those as well. And that can is like, this jar, I mean, is like really gross. Consistency. I don't know how I didn't see that in the store, but whatever. And then these are, I believe, 49 cents each the sparkling frost waters the cherry limeade one is literally my favorite it tastes just like cherry limeade like soda but this thing has zero calories and i just really love these so i got two of these for myself and then i got this food for my cat it's pure being and the flavor is salmon rice and sweet potato recipe so he's probably really gonna like this. It's kind of bogus though how the bag is like literally only this full. So this was cheap. I think it was like $5, so it's not a bad price. And at first I wasn't gonna get it because it says for cats, but he's a kitten. But then on the bottom it says for adult cats, kittens, and seniors. So we'll see how he likes this. How he likes this. <laughs> we'll give it a shot. And if not, then we know we won't get it again. Okay, so. We only have four items left. I know this wasn't the biggest haul just because I wasn't trying to spend too much, but I did still want to get some stuff. Um, and these are the items that are in my thumbnail. So I got two of each of these. The Holly Jolly Christmas Tree Farm candle and then the reindeer candle. This one's so cute. It says sleigh rides five cents per ride. Rides start at dusk. And then it says warm blankets, hot cocoa, and carolers there on the bottom, if you guys can see that. And then this one says the Holly Jolly Christmas Tree Farm. And then it says, you cut, you haul, you enjoy. Pine, fir, spruce, and cedar. So these are both really cute. 
and they all smell different they also had two other kinds which i did show you guys in the store i don't like the design of those um ah as much though i like this like farm style farmhouse look or whatever so i got two of each of these two are for me two are for my mom for my boyfriend's mom for christmas hopefully she doesn't get them herself because she does shop at aldi a lot um but like i was saying they do all smell different i don't think it says no it doesn't say what the actual scent is but this one holly jolly christmas tree oh it smells so good it's like what is it like the pine smell it smells like a christmas tree you know like that's like probably my favorite candle smell ever in the world i don't care what time of year it is like sometimes i will literally light a pine scented candle like i don't care and then the reindeer sleigh ride one i think this is actually the same scent as this one let me smell them both hold on yeah these smell the same I think unless my nose is like tricking me but those both smell really good um the other ones i did smell them one of them smelled like peppermint i believe it was i don't remember which one that was and then i don't remember if i smelled the last one or if it smelled the same like peppermint but i overheard some hmm that's strange there was this man in there and he left at like the same time as me because I saw him outside loading up his car and now he's back. I can tell because it's the same hair, the same car, the same outfit and everything. So I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he forgot something. But that's weird. Um, anyway. And also he saw me in the store when I was like filming the Aldi finds and he's like, oh, don't worry. I'm not looking at what you're doing. And I was like, oh, no, you're good. I'm just filming a video. I just because I felt like I was in his way. But that's weird now that he's back and now he's like two spots away from me so hopefully he didn't see me <laughs> but anyway what was i saying oh yeah the scents of the candles the one smelled like peppermint and i don't remember what the other one smelled like and then the two women that were talking were like yeah like all the designs are different there's four different designs but they all smell the same and i was like girl girls <laughs> no they don't like they definitely do not i don't like the peppermint candle type smell so but yeah, so that is it for today's haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed. There were a lot of cool items that I got, especially a lot of like items on sale on clearance, like the cat house, the two sign or the, the doormat and the sign in the back, um, the cleaning spray, the Panera soup. Like there were a lot of things that were marked down right now. So I got pretty lucky. And then a lot of cool finds for this week, a lot and lot of them. There were also more things that I wanted to get, but I honestly didn't want to spend that much money. So $80 is pretty good considering 12 of it is for a Christmas gift. <laughs> That's how I think. So not bad at all. So I technically only spent $68. Yay! Proud of myself. But yeah, someone just parked next to me and I'm trying to go home and edit this Duncan video. So if you haven't checked that video out, it's definitely up by now. So check it out. I will link it down below in the description box and also up here as well. So you guys can find it real fast. Um, I have to sneeze. <coughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. We are really, really close to 600 subscribers. So thank you all for your support. And also comment down below if you have gone to Aldi this week, what finds of the week did y'all pick up? Because I'm interested to see like what you guys got. And let me know if you think these candles all smell the same because I definitely, they do not. <laughs> And then also don't forget to not, wow. Also don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so you never miss one of my new videos. And that's all I got for you guys today. So I guess I'll just see you in the next video. Bye y'all.